After Hurricane Katrina devastated New Orleans, Mayor Bill White of Houston offered refuge and opportunity to evacuees. While Doris Vauche, school superintendent in nearby St. Bernard's Parish, worked day and night to get students back to school, just 11 weeks after the storm. Today, they will receive the prestigious Profile and Courage Award created in memory of President John F. Kennedy's commitment to public service. The president's daughter, Caroline Kennedy, joins us along with Mayor Bill White and Superintendent Doris Vauche. Good morning, all. Good morning. Good morning. Caroline, good to be with you this morning. When you get ready to make this award every year, who are you looking for? Well, my father transformed the idea of public service for a generation, and we really thought, think that the best way of commemorating his life is to celebrate that kind of commitment today. And I think each year we look for people who have um, stepped forward and done something um, well beyond uh, what the rest of us uh, were thinking. And um, we've faced here an incredible disaster. And both Superintendent O'Shea and Mayor White really um, set an example of public service that I think has inspired our nation. And they did it with a lot of help. But the two of them are the people that we have recognized today for yeah. their achievements and their courage. Real leaders in indeed. Mayor White, let me ask you, as you are getting ready to take this influx of several hundred thousand people, did somebody whisper in your ear, maybe this isn't such a good idea? Well, some of the radio talk show hosts were telling it. They didn't need to whisper, but most of the folks in our community realized that somebody in America needed to step up and take care of our neighbors, their fellow Americans. And I'm just so proud of the people of Houston uh, that uh, I could be a representative to receive this award for them. Superintendent Vaucher, I have spent a lot of time in your parish, and when I first got there, it, most of it was still underwater. How on earth did you get those schools running again? It certainly wasn't with the help of the federal government. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was with a small group of very committed and dedicated educators. And we found the courage within to do that and banded together to provide safe learning environments for our children. Mayor White, let me ask you this question, because the government came under so much criticism, and certainly we saw it with our own eyes, this, this, this absolute failure to connect with, with the needs on the ground. What was the most important lesson you learned from this whole experience? Uh, you got to throw out the bureaucratic standard operating procedures and just find the people who are most competent to do a job. Sometimes they'll be in the faith-based community, sometimes in the private sector. Corporate America has a lot of capabilities. I think people, with the benefit of hindsight, some people in the federal government waited for some federal emergency bureaucracy to kick in. But when you're talking about the destruction of large parts of a major American city, right. you have to have all the best resources of the country brought to hand. Yeah. Superintendent Vauche, one of the things I read about you, you said you broke more rules in a couple of months than you ever <laughs> broke in your entire life. That's true. <laughs> tell, tell us a little bit more about that, because one of the things people don't realize is St. Bernard Parish, well, more than 90% of the parish was underwater after that storm. The first people that got there were actually Canadian Mounties. Canadian Search and Rescue Team, yes. Yeah. Uh, every home, every church, every school, every business was underwater. So it took a great deal of effort for us to band together. You know, educators, and I'm an educator, are basically rule followers. But uh, in a crisis, in a time, in a situation that we were experiencing, you know, we were doing deals, I was doing deals on a handshake in parking lots of buildings with no electricity. So we couldn't follow procurement procedures. So we did break quite a few rules, but we did it because we wanted our community uh -huh. not to die. And Mayor White, uh, finally from you, uh, there was still a, a significant pri crime problem that went along with this a major uh, influx of, of new people. You've uh, been trying to, to remedy, that, remedy that too. Uh, at, at the end of the day, are you glad you decided to take in all of these people? Oh, sure, we did what was required of us. And, you know, in any large urban population, there's going to be some folks who prey on the vulnerable. I'll tell you what, the evacuees uh, that are still in Houston, that's about 100,000 people still living in Houston who found work, who's getting on with their lives. They are 
among those most grateful for the fact that we have a special housing program for some who broke rules, and it's called the jail. Uh, and it was just a tiny, <laughs> it's only a tiny portion of those people sure. who came were in that category. Uh -huh. And uh, But that, that would be true of any urban area. Caroline, let me ask you this, wrapping things up. As we have had this conversation with you for so many years now, do you find that these folks, like the ones who are sitting right next to you now, are they harder to find, or are they everywhere? Well, I think the great thing for us is that um, people tend to think of politicians, you know, they write off politics um, or frustrated. But really, at all levels of government, there are extraordinary people. And as a nation, we are so lucky uh, to have so many dedicated public servants. And I think for me, it means so much to know that, um, that that's true and that the, the career and the, um, the vision that my father set forth is really alive today. Mm. Mayor White, uh, Superintendent Vosche, thank you so much. And congratulations to you, Caroline. I do appreciate it this morning.